I'm going to be showing you how to ice and decorate a traditional round fruit cake with a smooth professional finish. To begin with, I've got my ready cooked Christmas fruit cake. Now what I've got here is some apricot jam that I've brought up to the boil with a splash of water and then I've strained it through a sieve so that our icing doesn't start to ferment. So it's very important that you do bring it up to the boil. And the marzipan has something to stick to the cake. All the way around, on the sides. And now this is ready for our marzipan. The key thing to remember is you must knead your marzipan to get it nice and smooth. If you just work with it immediately, you're gonna end up having cracks on your icing. Just knead it with the palm of your hand and you'll feel it becoming a lot softer and a little bit more pliable. If you don't use it all, you need to keep it in cling film and then also a little bit of foil as well so that it doesn't dry out. I've been kneading that for a good 30 seconds and so we're ready to roll this out to a nice thin circle. Put a light dusting of ice and sugar on your surface. Just manipulate the marzipan with your hands, make it round and then we can begin to roll out. So when you're rolling, you want to stand parallel to whatever it is you're rolling out and just go back and forth a few times and then rotate. And by rotating it, you're going to make sure that you've got a nice round circular piece of marzipan. The thickness that we're looking for is approximately three to four millimetres thick. And I find the best way to cover your cake is to grab your rolling pin and then turn your marzipan over the rolling pin, lift it up and then you're ready to lift it over. You want to use the warmth of your hands to make it nice and flat. This stage is what we call skirting. So you're lifting it up and then just going around with this part of your hand. Keep turning your board, pull away and then flatten. It's all about working with your marzipan so that it doesn't dry out too quick. If it does, it might start to crack. You just need to keep going around with your hands, especially on these edges as well, because that will help if there's any cracks. Okay, so now we're ready to trim off our excess marzipan. You want to cut at a bit of an angle. Try not to go too close to the cake. Turn your cake around to make your life a bit easier. And you always need to work with extra marzipan. It's very difficult if you haven't got any excess. I like to use what we call a cake scraper. It helps to get it nice and flat. If you don't have one of these, you can just use your hands, that's fine. But if you can get hold of one, it's a lot easier. So just keep turning your cake and makes it nice and flat. Check all the way around that the marzipan's nice and flat. And there we have it a really smooth layer of marzipan on our fruit cake. Once you've achieved this, it's time to ice the cake. I'm going to be using ready to roll white icing. Depending on the size of your cake will depend on the quantity that you need. Even more important with the white icing, you need to knead it, because obviously this is going to be on show. So you want it to look as smooth as possible. A little bit of ice and sugar on your hands, a little bit on the work surface, and just put all of your elbow grease into it. You need to knead it for a good 30 seconds and then try and get it into a nice round shape again. Make sure that you have a little bit of ice and sugar on your rolling pin as well. And then exactly the same technique, just roll a few times and rotate. Try not to roll your icing at different angles because that's when you can end up with different levels of thickness. If you're not sure, just take a moment, have a little look at the sides, get a little feel for it and then carry on. I like to keep it a little bit thicker than the marzipan because I find it looks a lot neater when you come to ice your cake. I'm now ready to brush a really small amount of alcohol onto our marzipan so that the icing will stick to it. A rum or a brandy is absolutely fine. Exactly like we did with our marzipan before, you want to roll your icing straight onto the rolling pin and then really gently roll it over your cake exactly the same technique so just really flatten it with the palm of your hand we're doing that skirting again so stretching the icing sealing it to the board nice and smooth with an even finish now i'm ready to cut and with any excess icing that you don't need 
cover it with some cling film and then you can re-roll this icing as many times as you wish, the same with the marzipan. Use my scraper again and you'll find it's got one flat side and one rounded side so I'm going to opt for the flat side. You want to be careful not to go at an angle like this because then your cake will suddenly start to cave in. So really upright and just keep working it around. Make sure it's nice and smooth, completely covered. It's always best to try and do this at least a week before Christmas to dry out. If you just take a little bit of time over icing and marzipanning your cake, you'll end up with a lovely smooth finish like this all in time for Christmas.